Hey everybody, this is Chris with Pat's Boy Dar. I just got a new machine. I got the brother uh, Innovis Duetta. Yeah. So far so good. Uh, when I first initially was getting this set up, I was having some troubles. Mainly I was having trouble with the um, that upper thread and that uh, automatic feeder. I had to certain like finesse it in a way to get it working. Because if I fed the uh, that top thread through it, and then I hit that little um, automatic threader button, and then I pulled the thread through the needle. If I if I only did that, then I will constantly be getting a check upper thread message, error message for the most part. So what I learned was I have to um, I have to feed it through. I have to hit the little uh, automatic feeder button, pull the thread through, but then I'll have to lower the foot. Then I slightly raise it, but then I have to give a little bit of like tug on that upper thread in this area. So that way the thread actually locks into that those tension plates. So the issue I was having was the thread not actually going into the tension plates properly. But I figured I figured out how to do it. So now the machine is running very well from when I first got it. It was definitely a learning curve for my like standard little home machine, my like brother SC. 625 and the 425. But I'm finally getting it. Uh, it's definitely doing good now, as opposed to what it was how it was doing two days ago. Right now, I'm doing a I'm doing a custom patch. It's a Mickey and Minnie design. What I did the both uh, Mickey and Minnie. They're two different designs, but what I did was I brung them together in a way to where it looks cohesive. Uh, so I'm doing this part for a young lady. She's very excited to get the the design. I'm doing it on the uh, large frame because putting both the Mickey and Minnie together, I wouldn't be able to do that on my little smaller machines. It'll be quite too small and I'll like lose detail. So I'm doing it on the Brother Duetta and it's looking pretty good. That's machine number four for me. I got the other three machines right up there. I'm looking lavish, got my spool of threads, got my charts of things I need to be doing. To get to the tension, there's two different tension sections that I noticed. But the first one is here, this little uh, scissors. Let me get my little pin. But it's a little like a thread with the scissors. So I'm gonna press that guy. And it shows the tension. Right now I got my tension at 0 0.8. And that really works for me. When you load a design, it defaults it to a four or 4.0. So that was definitely too high and it was causing me to have like thread breaks and everything. But now I know that uh, it definitely likes having it at 0 0.8. I don't have any issues when it's on 0 0.8. So that's one tension option. The next tension option is uh, if you hit the little paper button down here, there's uh, this embroidery tension. And I keep that at uh, double zeros. Um, and as you see, if you lower it or higher it, it has like a black box around the double zeros. I feel like that's like the, the default where it should be. So I just leave it at that. My uh, embroidery foot height is at uh, 1.0 millimeter, as you can see, 1.0 millimeter. So I just keep that where it is, but I'm going to get the machine going again. But those are how I got my tension set, and it like like it works for me. I'm using Sulky Threads. I like using the Sulky Threads. Get the Brother Duetta.